Let's take a look at ways to edit our alignment geometry. To edit the alignment geometry, select the alignment, right click, and select Edit Alignment Geometry. This will bring up the Alignment Layout Tools toolbar. On this toolbar, you'll have all the options for editing your alignment. You can insert, delete, and break apart points of intersection. You have a multitude of options for adding curves, tangents, and spirals. And you also have an option for the alignment grid view. The alignment grid view is a spreadsheet style interface that allows you to manually input numeric data and select constraint options for your alignment geometry. You'll see here that uh, we have some, the information looks different. Uh, some of it is bold while some of it is plain text. Any bold text can be edited. Uh, you'll see that we have our warning signs up that say we broke some of our design constraints. Uh, we have some tangency constraints as you can see. Uh, our curve tangencies can be constrained by the incoming tangent, by the outgoing tangent uh, on both sides, or not constrained. It can be a fixed curve. We can lock or unlock our parameter constraints. And those parameter constraints, as you can see when they're unlocked, you can edit them. Uh, they'll become bold. And the parameter constraint for a curve can be either a radius or a pass-through point. I can select the radius of this curve and enter a value, let's say 110 meters, and uh, Civil 3D will let you know that it can't do the math. It could not solve that curve. Let's drop down to a 100 meter radius for that curve, and you'll see that the curve does update automatically. Uh, you'll see there that uh, with this new geometry, we have a very short tangent between these two curves. And uh, I'll illustrate, but you should probably realize that we're not going to be able to edit the radius of the incoming curve all that much, uh, simply because there's just not enough room to work there. The math is impossible. Uh, I can go in and edit my first curve. Let's change the radius of that one and you can pretty easily see what happens when you input that radius of 100 meters. Cannot solve it. Uh, let's try one more time. Alright, let's just take a look there. Alright, it's not going to, there, there's really nothing more I can edit with my curve radii. So I can close my uh, alignment grid view. Let's go in and take a look at some options for inserting a PI. We can insert a PI simply by clicking. Uh, if you click too far away and it can't do the math of course it will let you know that it can insert that. Uh, and I'll pick a point here and I accidentally pick twice. So uh, let's go ahead and delete one of those by selecting delete PI. It'll remove that PI. And now I'm going to move it using grip edits. And again, if it can't do the math, you'll see there that it actually disappears. Uh, wherever it's visible, it'll actually let you drop it. So I'm going to put a curve uh, between these two tangents. And I'm just going to use a free curve, uh, fill it with a known radius. It'll ask me, uh, I have to pick the incoming and outgoing tangents. Uh, it'll ask me my curve solution angle. And then it will ask my, uh, my curve parameter that I want to input. I'm going to input a radius of 110 meters. You'll see that my, uh, my curve is created. It's a very, very short curve. And uh, I can go in now and, and edit that curve if I wanted to, or I can simply delete the PI, which will get rid of the curve and make the uh, tangent whole again. 